How are you guys doing? <laughs> um, I hope you're doing pretty well. Um, I'm excited to do your reading. It's been a minute, it feels like. <laughs> um, and this last week, there was a lot of, um, there's a lot of stalls, you know? Like, I felt like there were a lot of things that kept, like, popping up. Uh, <laughs> kind of like as distractions or things that like kind of scared me, but it was like, I still persevered. I was like, I, I gotta make these videos. I don't give a fuck if all odds are against me. <laughs> uh, so I'm sorry that it took so long, but I made it. I made it back around to you guys. Um, I feel like that's enough cards to start with and then we'll, we'll go from there. Yeah, dude, so, um, Page of Swords, it looks like you've got a hater here, <laughs> um, it looks like somebody here, um, they might be talking trash on you, they might be, like, um, like, gang stalking you, it's, like, whatever it is, there's, like, conflict, right, with this Five of Wands, some sort of drama, um, Eight of Wands in reverse. I feel like this could have been like um, somebody that you felt like you've been through a lot with. You guys like have probably known each other for quite a long time. Um, but it's like I feel like you know there's something that just wasn't mastered in this connection. It could be a friend, could be a job, could be anything will clarify that um with the full in reverse i see that you don't want to like say or do anything that you'll regret like I, I feel like you're you're trying to not be foolish at this time you're like okay we're going through a thing but i feel like you're trying to be the more rational minded one right with the six of cups i do see kind of this uh people pleaser energy um so um, be careful with that, like, um, you know, this girl here in this picture is, like, offering all of her cups to somebody, you know, and, um, well, or to a lot of people, potentially, but her own cup is, like, hanging from a chain on her neck, and, uh, and it's emptied out, you know, it's, like, it's upside down, her own, her own cup is, is going neglected because she's trying to love everybody else, you know, um, so be careful of being too, uh, you know, too giving or, you know, um, you know, sometimes even that can become toxic, you know, uh, being too giving because then you're not really giving to yourself, you're taking from yourself. Um, and that's just not how that should go. <laughs> um... You also, in Six of Cups, it also, in other decks, there's, like, a, a little kid or something to indicate that, you know, you're in touch with your inner child. Um, you could be a parent. Um, you might have known this hater since childhood. There's a few different ways we could read that, so we'll clarify that um, when we get to it. Um, so, yeah, Page of Swords. Let's see. Who is this hater? What are they about? Damn, 888 right off the bat. That's that's a number of mastery. This is something you need to do. This is about mastering yourself. Uh, you have 8 of Swords, 8 of Pentacles, 8 of Wands, and they're all in reverse, right? So right now, that's your challenge. Your challenge is self-mastery, mastering your emotions, mastering your reactions, mastering your responses. Um, with the 8 of Swords in reverse, I feel like you're starting to really see this person for what they are. I feel like, you know, you probably didn't really see it before, but I feel like it's just becoming more and more pronounced. Like, you can't stop seeing it now. Um, Eight of Pentacles in reverse, I feel like maybe they were taking from you. Um, it looks like they could have been taking money. They could have been, you know, uh, whatever the case is, it looks like, or you felt like, you know, it's kind of like I was saying, like, you know, you're giving so much and it, I feel like there's just like this imbalance of give and take. Like you feel like this person, I mean, potentially they could have been stealing from you. Also, 
Um, it could have been just stealing your fucking energy and draining you dry of, like, all of it. They're, like, expecting you to validate them in every way, to show up and do the things that they themselves are sh should be responsible for, you know, for themselves. Like, they need you to give them the love that they refuse to give to themselves. And it's, like, what the fuck? <laughs> um, Seven of Cups. I think, um, you know, as you separate from this, connection as you sever ties with them um you're kind of looking at like you're like dude I have other options like it's not like I'm bound to you right um the full in reverse I feel like you're actually um looking at your other options like you could be scoping it out <laughs> um but yeah so the full in reverse let's talk about that Yeah, the Hierophant in reverse. Somebody just refuses to learn, to grow. They probably have shitty work ethic, like very immature people, right? This person just expects you to hold the whole fucking thing for them. Like they don't want to do shit for themselves. Um, and you're just like, goodbye. And it's weird though, because with the Seven of Cups, it looks like you're looking... For like a new love interest however everything surrounding this person does not look like a love interest which is weird um that just indicates that you really need to sever ties if this is somebody that you were um that you're in a relationship with you would need to fucking run um it should not look like this even in a breakup situation there should be an indication that there's some sort of love or something but it just feels like you're being used Right? It feels like somebody is like a fucking gold digger and they're taking advantage of you and taking advantage of all your hard work and all your fucking efforts and everything. Um, because you're so giving, you know? It's like they know that you would give them the fucking moon and the stars and so they're just like... They're fine with that. <laughs> they don't give a fuck if you're drained dry because they end up having everything at the end of the day, right? And all of your blessings including all of your blessings they're taking every blessing that the fucking universe gives you and they're like oh this is mine now actually dude fuck this person <laughs> fuck them i'm so <laughs> i'm mad <laughs> i'm mad <laughs> i'm gonna whoop their ass <laughs> This is what I call righteous ang anger, right? Like, this is an injustice. This this son of a bitch needs to get off their fucking ass and take care of themselves, right? Like, this is... Oh, <laughs> oh man. Oh, man. You know what's funny? It's like... I, I, I try really hard not to, to show my anger, you know, in situations. And, like, there's something about water signs. Like... Pisces they got me crying in one and now you got me like like I'm feeling anger like it's just like it's rising like I feel like I'm feeling your anger like it's just like like this person has taken so much advantage of you and they just want to keep you fucking stuck and it's like I see you fool it's like you're you're standing there you're like I fucking see you I see what you're doing you know what dude return to sender okay I shit you not. You go light a fucking incense and you tell the whole universe, return to sender. Any weapon formed in spirit or material against me will not prosper. That's biblical, right? You just say it. <laughs> like, you declare that no force can take from you ever again. They will not take advantage of you. Your blessings are not for them. I'm going to whoop their ass. <laughs> oh, oh, man. Six of Cups. <laughs> what is up, though? And, dude, I'm a Cancer rising, so I have a little bias towards you guys, okay? I'm like, <laughs> I feel you on, like, an intrinsic level. I fucking feel you. And it's like, dude, this, it sucks because it's like you're made out of love. All you want to do is give to others. You want to be this humanitarian. You want to help everybody. You're just like, you're like the kind of fucking person who would start like 
an animal shelter or something. Like, you're all soul, you know? And then these fucking material ass, materialistic ass pieces of shit show up just wanting to steal all your fucking blessings because of the great fucking heart you have and the good karma that is being delivered to you. It's like they're taking advantage of you, dude. And not anymore. Not anymore. I'm declaring it for you. Not any fucking more. You need to drop this person. Yeah, the chariot. This is cancer energy in the upright, okay? That's your fucking card. And you know what it means? It means you're moving the fuck on. Move, bitch. Get out the way. Get out the way. <laughs> oh, I'm turning into ludicrous right now. Oh my gosh. I cannot with this fucking person. <sighs> Why? Why are people shit? <laughs> Sometimes. Not all the time, you know, but like, fuck. It's like... Like, when bad people do this to good people, it really fucks up humanity, right? And here's where you got to be stronger than this. Here's where your love, your compassion has to extend even further. But you have to understand, you got to set real boundaries. You have to, like, not let people take advantage of you. It's one thing to give to those who need. Um, but if they're consistently coming, like, I need this, I need that, then it's time to be like, I can't do that. I can't do that, you know, and if they're like, oh, what are you broke, da, 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 just be like, doesn't matter, I can't do that, you know, like, just fucking, you can't do it, okay, bottom line, you cannot, <laughs> okay, I am the boss of you, no, no kidding, <laughs> no, I mean, do what you're gonna do, but please don't, <laughs> like, you know, um, I feel like you're moving on, though, I feel like you're feeling that, too, you're like, I'm going, I'm fucking leaving right now, um, you're fucking gone from this shit. You're on your chariot. You're, you're riding the fucking way out. You're just like, yeah, king of wands in reverse. This son of a bitch lied to you. They lie to you. They try to sit there and look pathetic and like useless so that you will take care of them. Like, there's no fucking reason for this. It's childish. Um, the world card. I see you stepping out into the world, going into the unknown, you know? I see you completing a cycle here, too. I see something ending with this person. And I do see you, like, um, really going the distance for yourself this time. Yeah, Ten of Cups in reverse. They thought that, like that you would just be there to fucking give them the fucking world forever and guess what we're gonna shit on their parade today mm-hmm <laughs> fuck that <laughs> hell no <nah. laughs> uh three of cups in reverse this person is not even technically with you right so <laughs> maybe this is like baby mama baby daddy Maybe this is childhood friend, somebody that you've known since fucking forever. Um, it was a deep connection, but this son of a bitch doesn't even have claims on you. There's not a title here. That's why it's not showing up like a love thing. You're like, I'm not your ten of cups. Fuck that. Um, yeah. This is like somebody who just wanted like a sugar mama, sugar daddy. They just wanted to be taken care of. They felt entitled to your energy, to your blessings. Fuck that. <laughs> yeah, dude, Knight of Cups in reverse. You are incapable of loving them because of what they've done to you. Because of all the fucking bullshit. You are incapable of it. And... It's like, it's gotten to a point where it's like, just the idea 
of like submitting to this person makes your fucking stomach turn, right? It's like you're just like over it completely. With the Eight of Cups in reverse, I see you like typically in the Eight of Cups, you would see um, somebody walking away from cups. And the imagery on this is very backwards to the Eight of Cups and what it means. Eight of Cups is all about walking away from a shitty situation, right? Um, but in this one, it looks like she's offering a cup, right? So that's why I feel like this is in reverse. With the Knight of Cups in reverse, it's like indicating like, yeah, you're fucking done. You're hella fucking over this. <laughs> you're like, I am not playing this game. I do not hustle this fucking hard for somebody else to be walking away with my blessings without having to lift a goddamn finger. You're like, fuck this. <laughs> Man. You have every eight on the board. Eight, 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 right? Eight to the fourth power. So eight is all about mastery, right? And four is all about foundations. I feel like you are, you're coming up, dude. You're, you're evolving at a rapid rate. Yeah, temperance energy. I see this earth angel energy. This, the divine is pouring a cup for you. They're like, yeah, here's some fucking love. I saw that they emptied up your cup. So here you go. Like the divine is replenishing you. And I, this is also a card of divine timing. You know, like this was a karmic cycle that needed to happen. And it's unfortunate, you know, how shit happened. But it's like now I feel like that debt is paid. That cycle is over with. It's way the fuck done. And the divine is like, you are protected. You're being guided out of there. When you see a door open, you take it. You walk. Um, two of cups in reverse. Yeah, break up. If you haven't broken up, I feel like you have the... Because you have ten of cups in reverse with the two of cups in reverse. With the chariot card, you're fucking leaving, dude. You're out of there. <laughs> you are so fucking done. Um, <laughs> oh, man. Never, ever, 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 ever let somebody treat you like that again. You make sure it's fully reciprocated. Demand respect. Right? You are not somebody to be trifled with. You're a fucking cancer. You're a fucking crab. You know what? Crabs are fucking, like... <laughs> They're amazing, right? Like, they are resilient. They are strong. They can survive in, you know, in in climates and shit that, like, humans can't survive in. You know, like, they're very evolved. They're very cool. They're very um, quick to defend themselves, too, you know? And I feel like that's something that you really need to tap into is being quick to defend yourself, quick to stand up for yourself. Um, not necessarily to fight everybody, but don't let people trample on you, right? Don't let people take advantage of your kindness. Sometimes the best thing you can say for somebody is no. And sometimes the best thing for them is for you to say no so that they have to learn that they need to be independent. They need to take care of their shit or they need to get to step in, you know? <laughs> like... That's just where it be like. Yeah, you do not need to prove yourself to fucking anybody. Okay? You do not need to prove yourself to anybody. That's why this is in reverse. You need to understand. This is your fucking journey. You owe nobody an explanation about it. Sanctuary. I see you, you know, getting that. Feeling that safety net, you know, look, this, this little fox is in there with all his little kitty cats just lounging around and it's like, that's his safe zone. It's where home is. It's where he feels comfortable. It feels where he feels like, you know, together, you know? And so I feel like you're really being called to like, you know, take sanctuary inside of yourself, you know, meditate, do something that like really opens you up, you know? Nature of the beast. This is kind of like what I was saying about the crabs. You know, like tapping into that nature, right? Tap into the nature of your beast, right? Um, don't be afraid. Like, you are given... 
feelings like anger, um, anxiety, fear, stress, all that for a reason, right? That's something to be listened to. Not dwelled on, but listened to, right? When you get that instinct, when you feel that intuition about people, you need to just fucking listen to it, you know? Um, and really, like... Be in touch with yourself, you know? Be in touch with yourself. Find that core of who you are and never let that shit go, right? Somebody who knows themselves cannot be destroyed, right? Somebody who genuinely does. Somebody who stands in their own power and is not affected by others, you know? Um, Epictetus is a great example of this. And now I'm going to go on a tangent about Epictetus, but I think you need to hear this. Um, so Epictetus, he had like a twisted leg, right? Um, he was a slave and when he was a kid, it, his leg was broken. This was before modern medicine. So his leg was all like, you know, twisted and fucked up and, uh, he was a slave. So, but he was always in a great fucking mood, right? He was always happy. He never complained. He just, you know, lived his life, you know, doing what he did. And this drove his master fucking crazy. He's like, you're the slave. Why are you happier than me? You know, and so he would beat Epictetus. He would just torture him, right? Trying to uh, break him, trying to break his spirit. Um, but Epictetus just wouldn't complain. He wouldn't, you know, do shit. Um, so, and he was just like, whatever, you know, like life is life. <laughs> it is what it is, you know. And this, the master was just pissed. He's like, I have riches, I have slaves, I have everything. I don't have to do all this. I'm not getting beaten every day. Why am I not fucking happy, right? And, um, so one day he's really fucking drunk and he grabs Epictetus, tackles him down and grabs his leg and starts fucking twisting it, right? And Epictetus is like, you need to stop. You're going to break my leg. Uh, or if you don't stop, you're going to break my leg. And the guy just kept fucking going and he broke his leg, right? Re-fucking broke his leg. And Epictetus just looks at him and he was like, like I said, if you kept going, you would break my leg, <laughs> you know, and he just, and the master, like, lost his shit, he's like, ah, <laughs> you know, and it was like, it was all over the place, but because of what he did to Epictetus, Epictetus could no longer be his slave, because he was useless, right, because now, like, how is he gonna do that, right, Epictetus, because of his responsiveness to that situation because he didn't let anybody break him or trigger him or whatever this led to him being one of the greatest philosophers that ever fucking lived right um and he will be remembered forever right he will be immortalized as long as there is literature um and that's something really to to take to heart you know how we respond in those situations where other people would be like losing their fucking minds, screaming, crying, blah, you know, and when, if we can hold our shit together during those times, it's just, that's when we stand in our power, right? When other people lose control of themselves and you are able to maintain it, you're able to stay in focus, you're able to master yourself, you know, and I feel you getting in touch with that. And I'm very proud of you. I, I see you in the upright. I see you standing in your power. I see really good energy coming out of you. And I just know you're going to persevere. I know you're like Hercules, okay? And this is a fucking hurdle. This is an obstacle, right? This is Cerberus, right? And you just need to cut off the heads of the beast. <laughs> and you need to keep moving. I mean, don't literally cut his head off or her head. But walk. <laughs> you know? Walk. <laughs> Um, yeah, that's pretty much what I have for you. Um, I hope this was helpful. Um, I really do think that you're, you're in it for some great times. As soon as, just let this shit end. Let this tower fall. Let it, let it dissolve. Let this shit fucking be over. Um, because greatness is in the cards for you, man. I can see that. You're like a little epic Titus. You're going to rise from ashes like a phoenix. You know, you're just, you're going to do it. <laughs> and, um, and I'm very proud of you. Uh, I, I know you probably don't get that a lot. So, 
you know, me as an unbiased perspective, just looking into your energy this way, I, I have respect and admiration for all that you've done. I know you've been a very giving and caring person and you've gone through a lot of abuse for that, um, a lot of psychological abuse. And that's really unfortunate because like, you know, these people want to break your spirit. You know, these people, they want to bring you into lower vibrations. They just don't get you, you know. Um, they want to take your blessings because they don't know how to earn them for their damn self. And fuck that, dude. But yeah, anyway. Um, that's pretty much what I have for you. I hope this was helpful. <laughs> Namaste. I love you guys. Have a good one.